Mastering the magic of adjectives, right placement, right impact. Hello, language learners. Today, we're diving into a fascinating area of English grammar, adjective placement. Adjectives, as you may already know, are words that describe or modify another person or thing in the sentence. But did you know that where you place these adjectives can significantly impact your sentence's meaning and clarity? Don't worry if this sounds confusing, we're here to make it simple. So, let's get started. In English, adjectives usually go before the noun they modify. We call this the attributive position. For example, in the sentence, she has a blue car, blue, is an adjective describing the car. It comes right before the noun, car. When an adjective follows a verb like is, are, was, were, am, be, or any other forms of the verb, be, we call this the predicative position. For instance, in the sentence, the flowers are beautiful, beautiful, is the adjective which comes after the verb are. In compound sentences where two independent clauses are connected by a conjunction, adjectives usually maintain their typical placements. For example, I have a big dog, and he is very loyal. Here, big comes before the noun it modifies, dog, and loyal comes after the verb is. When using more than one adjective before a noun, we follow an order known as the order of adjectives. Typically, this is the sequence. Quantity or number, quality or opinion, size, age, shape, color, proper adjective, often nationality, other place of origin, or material, purpose or qualifier. For example, she wore a beautiful long black silk gown. Here, beautiful is an opinion. Long indicates size. Black is color. And silk is material. Understanding and mastering adjective placement can make your English sound more natural and fluent. Remember, practice is key. So try using these rules in your daily English usage. Don't worry about mistakes, they're part of the learning process. And as always, stay curious and keep learning. See you in our next video where we'll tackle more exciting grammar topics. Please feel free to leave any questions or doubts in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.